All right, y'all, shout out to Athlon Sports. Athlon Sports, I think I'm saying that right. 25 greatest quarterbacks in NFL history. Um, I didn't put my list together yet. I did one last year, and I was supposed to, I'm supposed to do one after every year, but I'm going to just do theirs, and then I'm trying to do my research and stuff and see, um, and then see who ranked where. So here's the top 25 quarterbacks of all time. Um, this is um, according to um, Athlon Sports, the article by Rob McVay, so R-O-B, and then his last name is M-C-V-E-Y. Go ahead and follow his uh find him on twitter or something and just uh follow Athlon sports if they got one i just want to promote the right it's not my article i just want to go through and see 25 is joe namath um beast from the jets i'm not gonna go through those stats 24 is dan Fouts. 23 is philip rivers um a guy i grew up watching uh 24 number 22 is a uh, jim kelly um good quarterback no matter if something somebody say he lost four they lost four super it's a team game um He's a beast, man. Definitely top 25. 21 is Eli Manning. Um, man, just clutch. Clutch, clutch quarterback, man. Uh, 20, 20 is Kurt Warner. Um, I won't have him higher. I don't want to criticize them, though. 19 is Sammy Ball. Um, paved the way. 1937 to 1952. Number 18 is uh, Terry Bradshaw. I think he should be higher. Um, you can't just look at the stats because they played in a hard passing error. Um, Bradshaw definitely can throw that ball. Um, watching just the highlights of him. 17 is a warm moon 16 is auto gram 15 is trey Aikman. this is why i had a little bit of problem because uh i don't know trey i don't think trey Aikman is better than um auto gram or bradshaw but um trey Aikman the beast so he definitely top 20 but they got him number 15 salute to him 14 uh bar star i think he won with the seven super bowls man um he was the NFL MVP in 1966 and named to the Pro Bowl four times. He was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 1977. He won five NFL titles and then um, the first two Super, Super Bowl one and two. So that's why, yeah. So if you go to Super Bowl era, he still got two Super Bowls. Uh, 13 is Ben Roethlisberger, uh, 2004 to 2001. Put up some great numbers. Uh, retired this year. 12 is Roger Starback. I think he deservedly. He definitely top 15 um, from what I heard from research and everything. Same with Frank. Chargers, I think he had 45,000 yards in the uh, era where they, you know, it's hard to pass. Um, 10 is Dan Marino. Um, I had a problem with him being this low, but um, that's one of my favorite quarterbacks, man. Um, I can't remember what, let me see, what, how long did he play? 1999. So I was, in 99, I was 10. So I basically I seen him when I was real, real little. And Dan Marino was that guy, man. He was that guy. He was a big star, too, man, like in movies. He played in that movie with uh, Jim Carrey. Uh, Jim Carrey, one of my favorites. Uh, number nine is Steve Young. Same thing with Steve Young, one of my favorite quarterbacks ever. Eight is Aaron Rodgers. Uh, I don't mind eight. I think I got him fourth, though. But number seven is Johnny Unitas. Number six is uh, Brett Favre. Number five is uh, John Elway. Number four is Drew Brees. Number three is Joe Montana. Number two is Peyton Manning. And number one is Tom Brady. Um, I think it's still a great list overall. Um, a couple of people that I probably would put in here. Actually, I can't really argue for Matt Ryan. I can, but uh, I don't know. Like, cause they respect you respecting the errors before too, like the before the Super Bowl era. So you respecting the Joe Namath and Dan Fouts and stuff. Um, yeah. So I guess the quarterback that I seen Matt Ryan top twenty five that I seen, but I can't just go by what I seen. You can't erase history. So peace.